Guys, um, today I'm going to talk about something called time under tension. I think this is one of the pieces that we're missing, or a lot of people are missing in their workout routines, especially those individuals who really want to look for that, that muscle hypertrophy and get that lean body mass going. Um, so what I tend to uh, talk about with my students and, and some of the uh, clients of mine is picture your body as a clock. Right? And we're going to put our time here on that clock. Now, one mistake that, like I said, I think we make is that we're so worried about reps. It's either 8 reps or 10 reps or 12 reps. And honestly, I don't think that has much to do with anything. Your muscles don't know what a rep is. What they do know is how much tension is placed on them. Um, so instead of doing like 8 reps or 10 reps, because most of the time we just kind of rep it out and it takes very little time at all. But focus more so on not the number of reps you did, but how much time you spent under tension. And that's going to give you a much better uh, cellular breakdown, muscular, muscular breakdown in the long run. So like I said, picture everything you do is this, is this clock. And the goal here is to take or get somewhere about 40 seconds to, I don't know, 60 seconds of time under tension. So when you're doing a bicep curl or bench press or pull-ups or anything like that, you want to be doing that exercise for somewhere between 40 seconds and 60 seconds. And you can do it you know, different tempos, things like that, or you can just go uh, until, you hit that, until you hit that time frame. I don't think that the whole rep scheme that we see, 6 to 12 reps for hypertrophy, really matters that much. You've got to make sure you choose an appropriate weight. But the other thing with this is when we hit in between those numbers, we build up a tremendous amount of lactic acid. And that lactic acid, even though it's not causing that burning sensation in the muscles, that lactic acid helps promote some of these important anabolic hormones that our body produces. So next time you're doing a bench press or bicep curls or whatever you, you guys are doing, see if you can spend somewhere between 40 and 60 seconds of continuous tension on that muscle and let me know how you feel. We'll see you guys later.